it says, well, come on in. I'll sign you up right now. <laughs> that's cool. And that's what she did. Wow. And uh, the, from that point on, the pastor at our church had me start working with him a little bit. And I preached my first sermon about three or four months after that. And uh, continued on working with that. And by February, um, one of the pastors in a little church, St. Paul's United Methodist Church in Tarzana, uh, called and asked if I'd be interested in coming down and working for him as a youth minister. Wow. And I was just not quite 19 years old hmm. when I started that. And uh, went on to college at Pierce, went, then got a scholarship from the uh, Masonic organization for my full tuition at California Western University and in San, wow. San Diego and went down there and Carolyn got mad at me and said, you, I'm not going to wait until you graduate from college to marry you. You better get back here. <laughs> <laughs> not quite that way. We had agreed we were going to try to be married after, we gradu after I graduated from college. But it was okay while we were both still there, but when I went to college, she couldn't wait until two years went by. So she no. called and said, how about if we get married next summer instead of the year after? And I said, well, be pretty tight, you know, for, I don't know if I can afford to keep you for <laughs> that time, but, <laughs> you know, I understand. I miss you too. And so we said, well, let's talk it over with the folks, see what we can do. And so on. Well, we hung up about not even two weeks later. She called again. She said, Jack, I can't wait till June. Can't we get married in between semesters? <laughs> <laughs> of course, you neglected to say that you, when you would call me, you would tell me about all these girls that were paying attention uh -huh. to you and rubbing your back and, you know, you Hey, and I, I just safe. decided I had I was to, safe. I was engaged. <laughs> I just what do you had want? to snap you up right away. <laughs> nah. That's cool. How did you know, Mom, that God talked to Dad? You know, the truth is I'd been down around the fire circle and, and had been talking to the pastor that had kind of led us through some of our devotions and stuff. And I just, I just had a feeling all of a sudden that God had spoken to Dad and that he was going to be a minister and and that I was going to marry him. Hmm. And so when he told me it wasn't a surprise because I kind of had that feeling. And I don't know why except that probably God put it in my heart too. I doubt if he would have said that you would have been my wife if he hadn't already cleared it with you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, that's the way it happened. That's cool. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And we've had many times when we had to walk up to those doors, press our nose against them, and squeeze <laughs> before it opened. So I'm waiting. But they always <laughs> opened. 